Hey everyone, welcome back to Revenue with Genghis. Wow, waking up uh, on Cultural City Day during the event is always fun. Let's see what Ebony added. And uh, with all the controversy going around with the resource taking, it, for whatever reason, the <laughs> lowering power on people's troops for their own glitches, that sort of stuff. I gotta say, Ebony uh, sure has their uh, ear to the ground and they are in tune with what people want in this game and they have released uh, some dynamite items that I know are going to be a big hit and people who were thinking about not spending or hoping big spenders don't spend, well, yeah, I got news for you. <laughs> Ebony knows what they want and they are dangling it in front of them. As always, if you are going to coin in this event, use Aptoid app promo code Genghis get to up to 25% discounts off. Let's look at what they released. <clears throat> wow, so historical city. This might be the best historical city ever. Uh, siege machine and range attack, defense, and HP. That's on both sides of the wall. Uh, all that siege stuff is so important. And then you get the range on attacking. Uh, yeah, that uh, they know what people want. And then enemy range and siege debuff. The range, the siege debuff HP is probably the most difficult thing in the game. So they throw out that. that. And then siege machine, range, <laughs> attack, siege, and range 10%. And you could stack it up to three times in your alliance. So the real big coiner alliances, if they get three of these, every player in the alliance gets 30%. Wow. And then triple assault, march speed, 10%, up to three. So every player would also get 30%. Ah, wow. What, wouldn't it be nice to be in an alliance like this, eh? Uh, this round of historic city event consists of five continents. Okay, I thought it was going to say five rounds. So it's the same as always, except a dynamite city. Limited recruit event. I prefer to actually go into the event and look at it. Let's see. So Mark Antony, I have struggled to get another copy to ascend him. So I will do this, just the 10,000. So I will definitely be doing that. But this will take me like two years. So I got to luck into him some other way. Elise, Ludwig, another premium. Alessandra, he's useless, this guy. He's in the tavern. Don't spend on him. Uh, so, yeah, so a lot of generals people would want there. Uh, and this is kind of the, these are the packs that people don't know that separate coiners from regular players. They buy this stuff sometimes, see, and you get ripped off. Or they buy the wheel stuff and on top of their daily packs. So that's how they get full cake. They get the extra stuff where regular coiners, you know, you're just doing small amounts and... You know, you're not getting the fully ascended everything of the difficult generals. And there was one other thing that they did in this update. This. So, final round of Kong collaboration. This has to just be a joke. So, there's only four days left until the end of the event. Round of collaboration. And look at this. So, they give two more double coupons. Because they know how much people are going to spend on this event right now that they just released. And... But read here, wow, is this not, uh, I guess it's good that they kind of gave us a warning, but look at all the thumbs down too. They basically said every single thing in here is never coming back. So the keys here for me are the sub, right? So you got the Kong sub, or sorry, the Kong spiritual beast. So if you don't have it, this is what you're going to be missing out on. Basically, the enemy mounted troop defense debuff. R mounted troop de debuff. Because the rest of this stuff, you're only going to use uh, if you're on an early server because there are better ways to buff your attacking archer generals. But uh, the debuff is gone forever if you don't have it. But the biggest thing is going to be if we go into General Hall 2, uh, do we have a Mason Weaver in here? Let's see. Is she here? Is James Conrad in here? I don't see them right now, but expect a new row that has them because they did this before. So there was no nothing here. And then all of a sudden they added a row and Alessandra wasn't available because she was in a special event. And same with not her. Kaguya 
wherever she is in here, right here. Same thing. So they're very difficult to get now, except in that general hall, two pack. So Ebony knows how to tell people, hey, you need them. Luckily, I do have them, uh, but I don't use them. They're just sitting there, like lots of generals I have, waiting and waiting until Ebony releases something where it's like, oh, you had a chance months ago, but you didn't coin enough. So anyways, wanted to uh, point that stuff out to you guys. Uh, expect to see a new wave of massive buffs. It seems like Ebony, those triple stacks, if that's going to be a new thing, you're going to start to see, you know, like if you think about it, if people triple stacked and everybody got 30% in those big alliances, they also got the other extra 10 and 10% for the regular buffs in those historical cities. And if they start to do this twice a, twice a month, right, every event, you're going to start to see people pushing like 3,500% buffs in a few months. Like expect to see that. So uh, scary stuff if you're going to be playing against those people. Anyways, let me know in the comments if you have the exact same feelings I had when you opened that up and saw it. Probably because uh, all those thumbs down seem to think that a lot of people clued in that this was uh, a way for Ebony to tell people spend now or you're never getting this stuff again. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.